Hello everyone, I'm Wheelman, and welcome back for week 3 of the Season 11 Challenges in Ghost Recon Wildlands. Up first this week is, in Barvechos, open three rebel prisons in a row without being visually detected. So just southeast of the city of Barvechos, there is this lieutenant house. There's only a handful of guys guarding it, and there is a rebel prison inside. This is one of those challenges that you're going to want to quit to main menu and reload in order to complete. When you restart, you'll end up in a nearby town, and you can just call a helicopter and fly back to the location. It's a good idea to use your drone and then to call in a rebel spotting in the area so you can see all of the guys who might be inside the buildings. Usually after that, you only have to kill one or two enemies if you have to kill any at all. At night, these guys are sleeping, and during the day, they tend to patrol around. Once you sneak inside the back door of the compound, you can just line up a shot on the lock itself, and you don't even have to walk up to the gate. Rinse and repeat this three times, and challenge one will be complete. So challenge two is, in extreme difficulty, without dying, and using only explosives, Deploy to Romanzo Bravo, then complete the missions, the Quinoa Factory, and Energy Drinks. The trickiest part of this challenge is actually going to be the instant you spawn after you fast travel. The rally point is so close to the road that I spawned with a Unidad patrol looking right at me. The challenge was almost over before it began because I had to victory crawl away before I started the mission. Once it's safe to leave, you can just grab the vehicle that's at the rally point and follow the road. I don't recommend using a helicopter because there are SAM sites in the area. When you arrive, the rocks that are along this river provide decent cover while keeping you close enough to the base to use your drone. In order to clear out the base, I'm using two different types of drones. The first is the EMP drone in order to get rid of the generator. There's three or four alarms in the area, and taking out the generator is the best way to get all of them at once. The second is the explosive drone to actually destroy the objective. Now, I called a rebel diversion in, in the middle of the base, before detonating my first drone. When the enemies have something else to shoot at, they really aren't paying attention to the random explosions that you might be generating. Because I was far away, it was unlikely that they would notice me just using my drone, but I didn't feel that it was worth the risk. Once the mission is complete, it's just a case of starting up energy drinks and driving there. I was actually a little concerned about this convoy that was driving through. I had hoped that they would go in a different direction, but I was able to just floor it past them. It's the same song and dance once you get to the next area. Use the EMP drone to take out the generator to disable the alarm, call for rebel reinforcements, and wait for the shooting to start before blowing up the objectives. And with that, Challenge 2 is done. So let's move on to Challenge 3. How much liquid cocaine and sugar are in those bottles, Colt? Enough to melt your face off? The final solo challenge this week is, in extreme difficulty, using a single grenade and no other weapons, deploy to Romanzo Bravo, then complete the mission, the Mule Doctors. Now, from the outset, this one sounds impossible. How are you supposed to get all three doctors with a single grenade? Well, the fact is, you don't have to use the grenade at all. The setup for the challenge is all fairly standard. Fast travel to the mission location and start it up. From there, just drive over to the area and hang out in this graveyard nearby. From here, just call a rebel spotting and a rebel diversion onto the clinic. 
The rebels will kill the enemies that are in the area, but they won't kill the doctors. You have to use a sync shot, or more likely, several sync shots, to eliminate the doctors. It really is just that easy. So you're now 800 prestige credits richer, but the video's not over yet. On to the task force challenge. The task force challenge this week is kill any bosses from smuggling provinces with a sniper shot from 300 meters or further, and you have to do it three times. Believe it or not, we're not even leaving Romanzo for this one. Start at the mission, the real El Gato, and then you can come up here to this water purification plant. The guy is in this container on these pipes over the water here, and the best way to reach him to take him out is to climb up some of the pipes on your own. You'll end up having to shoot through metal to reach him, so a rifle with high penetration is best. I'm using the Desert Tech HTI, which is unlocked at Tier 40 in Tier Mode. However, the standard HTI and the MSR both have similar penetration statistics, so either one will do just fine. So if you climb on this pipe and walk all the way out, past the train tracks, and into this field here, you'll be at just about 300 meters. I don't recommend sprinting while on these pipes. You're likely to either fall off one side or get stuck in the middle. Once you're out into the field, turn around, check your distance, and get ready to take the shot. At this distance, lining your crosshair up with the bottom of the crown icon will almost guarantee a hit. Unfortunately for me, Holt decided to stand directly in front of me, and that kind of complicated my shot. Just be aware that the AI has a tendency to follow you up here and stand in front of you and eat bullets. Lastly, I would recommend removing the suppressor on your rifle. Suppressors in Ghost Recon don't change the bullet drop, but they do change the flight time, and having a bullet that takes longer to reach at the target just complicates a long-range shot. If you do end up missing your shots, don't worry too much. He tends to stay in that room, and you're so far out that he doesn't notice where he's being shot from. And that's it for this week's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, leave a like on it. This week's outro is actually from user ChaoticJoker94 on the subreddit. And it's the first deployment of the Santa Blanca Paratrooper Regiment.